guys, we are back today with another Buffy reaction. I hope that if you celebrate Thanksgiving that you had a little happy holiday break. And I am so excited to continue with Buffy. It was the last reaction I filmed before my holiday break and now we're back and it's my first reaction to film after my holiday break because I, I loved Haunting of Hill House so much. But having that stretch of time where I was like really focused on it has really made me miss Buffy. I feel like it was kind of good for me. Like I'm more excited about Buffy than I've ever been. Maybe it's because season three has just been so good or because I took that little break from it. Regardless, I'm ready to get into episodes seven and eight today of season three. The last two episodes we watched were Homecoming and Band Candy. Band Candy was a lot of fun. Homecoming was an interesting one. Um, it focused mostly on Buffy and Cordelia's relationship and Buffy finding herself as a teenage girl rather than just as the slayer. And then Band Candy was... <laughs> Van Candy was a lot of fun. It was kind of unserious, but the serious heart of it felt like it was a lot about Buffy's school slayer social life balance and becoming it more of like an adult, taking on more responsibility, Joyce deciding whether she can trust Buffy with that type of responsibility yet, and um, Buffy was forced into being the responsible one in that episode, and I think she proved herself pretty well. And then also in these last two episodes, obviously like Willow and Xander Willow and Xander, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Next two episodes are called Revelations and Lovers Walk. Revelations, I believe, is that like a Bible reference? I think it might be the Book of Revelations, I think is a thing. And Lovers Walk. Listen, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of loving happening in the air right now. Not for Buffy anymore. Well, maybe that's gonna be Buffy giving into Angel again. Angel's been getting better very fast, very quickly, so I could see by Lovers Walk Angel being back to his full self and them having to face the fact that she doesn't have to take care of him anymore and deciding what that means for them and their relationship. I hope in these next two episodes that Giles and the gang know what's up with Angel because it's been hurting me that they've been in the dark about that whole situation. If you would like to watch the full episodes with me, my uncut reaction is available below on my Patreon. I also have my Twitch linked below where I stream multiple times a week, my letterbox, my PO box, all of the fun things below. But if you would rather just watch, can you hear my dog just tearing down a squeaky toy in the back right now? If you'd rather just watch the edited version here on YouTube, then let's get into it. Oh! Why am I always surprised when Oz is playing guitar in his little band? I always forget he's a little band boy. We don't have any seats. It's okay, I'll just scrunch in. Why is she being Daniel, weird? Why are you giving me a lap dance? What, I just like you. Oh That's my god. Beautiful. They're really digging into the Xander and Willow thing. Oh my god. Oh god, no. Thank you! Anyone notice Buffy acting sort of different? Yes. Let's see, um... Killing Angel. zombies. Think maybe she has a new honey? A boyfriend? <sighs> new? Why well, wouldn't she tell us? I am going out with somebody. Tonight, as a matter of fact. Really? Who? Yeah, is she talking up? about- Hey, time to motivate. Really? We're just good friends. Oh. Ah, oh, it's nice to see them get down as slayers together. Oh, a little patrol day in the cemetery. <laughs> Sloppy. Hello? A watcher? Telegraph punches, leave blind sides open and uh, for a school night slaying. Gwendolyn Post. Mrs. Your new watcher. She looks fun. That's an interesting way to introduce yourself. She looks... You know? <laughs> okay, with the whole Willow and Xander thing, I really want them to, like, there's a lot going on in the show where I just hate miscommunication and like hiding things like I want the whole angel thing to come out to everybody. I want the Willow and Xander thing to come out so we can figure it out and move on. Um, and now we got a new watcher in town. Why are they all British? She seems how what's the word for her? Very particular. I think I'm gonna use that word. I don't need a new watcher. No offense, lady. I just have this problem with authority figures. They end up kind of dead. Mm. Mr. Giles, why do you keep the rest of your books? I can assure you, Mrs. Post, this is the finest occult reference collection. This side of the Atlantic, I'm sure. <sighs> well, I suppose that you have Sir Robert Kane's Twilight Compendium. Oh. Oh my I... gosh. Should I, should I take the squeaky? I can't tell if you guys can hear the squeaky toy <laughs> in the bag, but it's getting crazy. Grandma, she has a million toys. How come she needs the squeaky toy? Hey. I'll go. I'll go take care of that real quick. But oh my god, she's 
Like he is Mr. Librarian. She's standing him up. Wait, is that what the phrase? Not standing him up. That's when you ditch somebody. She's like showing him up. She's showing him up. I kind of like her. I am to act in that capacity and report back. Excuse me, Mary Poppins. You don't seem to be listening. She is giving Mary Poppins. <laughs> Mr. Giles, an illustration of Lagos, if you please. Uh, oh, uh. No record of this glove's full power exists, but we do know it is highly dangerous and must not fall into the hands of a demon. Well, what do you propose? Well, if it's not too radical a suggestion, I thought we might kill him. <laughs> I actually can't tell if Miss Post is going to be somebody who I grow to love or grow to dislike very much. Sir? Sir? What are you doing? I better go. Better hurry before somebody figures out what we're doing. What are we doing? Yeah, please, let's talk. Cold turkey. It's a key to quitting. You think they make a patch for this? <laughs> you have to go. I really do. The tension has escalated. Oh. That's very nice. It actually is. That feels so good, but so, now it's not. I can't enjoy it. Right. And no means no. So, um. Stop. Good job. Oh. So, Giles. Willow, Sander, you can stop your uh, studying. It's uh, housed in the von Hauptmann family group. Yeah, that's that uh, big one over at the Restfield Cemetery. Tell her heads up if she uh, stops by. Yes, by all means, go. Did and he I'll see? Just keep studying. I think we're on the verge of a big Lagos breakthrough. I mean, I've had my share of losers, but you, you point the undead. It's still a little hard for me to talk about. I'll try. You know what? We're over six tonight. Why don't we just pull this off? I, I don't know if I. Can. I got Miss Press on my back now. I don't need another babysitter. I'll haul her from having any fun. I just really like her. I kind of have from the start. I love Faith. Oh no, now I'm scared. Why are we following Faith? Something bad's gonna... Is this where the crypt is? Oh good. Ugh. What even is that? Is that literally... Lagos? He kind of looks like the zombie from Hocus Pocus. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not Xander's spotting Angel. Of every possible character to spot Angel, that's not good. That is Xander's literally gonna kill him. Oh god, and now he's finding the place where he stays. Oh! Oh good. Okay, this is fine. No, this is fine because you can't even say anything, Xander. We have equal stuff on each other. Now Buffy just has to find out what you and Willow have been up to. And you can't guilt Buffy for what Buffy's been up to. But also, wow, we haven't done this yet. <laughs> we have not done that yet. Oh god. Just Buffy. give in or what don't. No, it's just, uh, just do it or don't. What are you doing? Oh god. Know. Shame on you. I don't even know why I came back here. It's good you did. What was he doing though? Getting... I think I have what you're looking for. Oh, he got... Is it the glove? Yeah. The men and gone world's ugliest fashion accessory. No doubt. So Lagos was just looking for it, but he didn't find it yet. We found it first. Got it. Buffy, your slayer. This is pissed. What's wrong with her? I can assure you that Buffy is both dedicated and industrious, and I am in complete control of my slayer. Giles. Bad time. Big problem. Bad time. You know what? Okay. Excuse me. Comedic timing, very funny, but also I'm happy that Xander is going to Giles. I was afraid Xander was going to try to do his own Xander thing. I got the magic mitten thingy. Here we go, an intervention. Ah, uh, this is why you should have told them. Now, no matter what she says, it's just gonna sound like excuses. She should have been the one to tell them. Nobody's here to blame you, Buffy. But this is serious. You need help. No, let her explain. Last time around, Angel barely laid a hand on Buffy. He was way more interested in killing her friends. But he's better now. Better for how long, Buffy? I was going to tell you, I was. It was just that I, I didn't know why he came back. You are spying on me? Okay, you can't get mad at him, though. What gives you the right? What gives you the right to suck face with your demon lover again? But you just tripped and fell on his lips? No. It was wrong, okay? No. I know that, and I know that it can't happen again. All we have to do is start from the beginning. So tell the story from the beginning, girl. <sighs> leave tons of firepower with the scary guy, and leave us to clean up the mess. 
You would just love an excuse to hurt him, wouldn't you? I don't need an excuse. I think lots of dead people actually constitutes a reason. This is all nobility, I and mean, this has nothing to do with jealousy. They're both making good points. Priority right now is to retrieve the glove of Minigan and try to destroy it. Mm-hmm. I want to be back to classes. Thanks for the bail in there. It wasn't really a bail. You have jeopardized the lives of all that you hold dear by harboring a known murderer. But sadly, I must remind you that Angel tortured me. He should have told me he was alive. You didn't. You have no respect for me or the job I perform. Ooh. That wasn't fun. That was, that was rough. That is what would get to, you can't, yeah, he said some things. But I knew when he was like kind of calling order to everybody when the group was together in the library, I was like, oh, he's just doing this to like, keep it from spiraling out of control but he's gonna have his own words for Buffy and they hurt even more than I could have expected and it's the way he like delivers it so calmly and and surely mm, I don't like it this is your home yeah the uh, decorator actually just left <laughs> you will probably hate me a great deal of the time you think yeah <laughs> but I will make you a better slayer and that will keep you alive you have to trust that I am right. I trust her. God only knows what Mr. Giles has been filling your head with. Okay. Giles is okay. Yeah, he is. Can we stop the Giles slander? I find him entirely confounding. This is about to be a romance. Every time someone like, I don't understand him, he's confounding, it leads to romance. Because then you just want to like figure them out and then you realize, oh, I wasn't right about them at the beginning. Now I understand you and then they're going to learn from each other and they're going to... There can be a little romance here. I just made up a whole plot line just based on her using the word confounding. What meanings? Oh, I don't know. Something with Buffy and her friends. Oh, right. Why is I she not included? include me. Yeah, I why? I feel bad faith was left out. I didn't even realize at that intervention. Angel's still alive. The vampire. Toting the popular and famous glove. Angel. You say I deal with this problem right now. I say I slay. Can I come? <laughs> you know what? I could really see them together. Not that I want that to happen at all because like the, the, there's too much. Like Xander is literally cheating on Cordelia already with his childhood best friend. Like I don't need to add in like the new Slayer girl onto his little list of girlies. But their personalities actually I feel like would bounce off of each other better than with Willow or Cordelia in Xander's case. Or maybe they're just good for each other when they're both upset. And that probably isn't good in the big picture. Also, I'm understanding why this episode's called Revelations. Nothing to do with, like, the Bible. It's just, like, literal revelations. Like, everything's coming to light. Which, now that I think about it, maybe Willow and Xander will get outed in this episode. They are teasing it a lot, and they're reminding the audience, like, us a lot that that's a thing. And they're both struggling to keep it a secret. But, you know, Angel... That revelation has come upon everybody. And it's it's a plural word, revelations. What are the other revelations? The new Watcher, I guess, is a revelation. I don't know. Good Watcher must be awake and alert at all hours. I swear she never, she's always standing like that. I keep, I keep on getting thrown off by the fact that she doesn't have arms. And then I realize she just wears it like over her shoulders and then holds her arms behind her back everywhere she goes. But it's the way that I don't think I've ever seen her stand any other way. Completely knackered. Oh. There they, there they are. She does have arms. <laughs> She's your first slayer, I take it. If you're questioning my qualifications. No, I'm not. Is she, though? I, uh, that I would make so much sense. <gasps> Giles, can you see right through her? She has, like, this aura about her where you'd think that she had done this multiple, multiple, multiple times and she knows exactly what she's doing, but maybe that bright-eyed, bushy-tailed confidence that she has is just because she doesn't know what she's in for yet and this is her first one. I think Giles, yep, I agree. I think this is her first. I also have the glove. It's in a, a mansion on Crawford Street. Eh? We must get to it. Immediately. Why us? Hide it before someone else finds it. Is she bad? Is she really a watcher? Is she evil? I must say, Mr. Giles, good show. <gasps> <laughs> Who is this woman? And keeping secrets is a lot of work. One could hypothetically imagine. Just say it, Willow. When you were with Angel and nobody knew about it, did that make it feel, you know, sexier somehow? Makes you think all this secret stuff is sexy anyway. Yeah, Willow. Nothing. 
They're just wondering. Gotta keep asking the big old questions. When See, this was... is so weird. Like, I get what she's saying about like doing it in secret. It's sexy because, like, I, I just I get that. Like, only we know and nobody else knows. But like, not when you're cheating. Not when you both are with somebody else. Like, what you think cheating is sexy? I want you to be the first to know that that there's a demon behind of you. Of course there is. Was that literally Lagos? What about the whole glove situation? Was that just someone working for Lagos, trying to get the glove? Giles, can you hear me? What the hell happened? She let me guess. No, uh, it was an angel. Just... You handle the babysit, and I'm gonna kill Angel. Damn it. I wonder how, if she would be capable of killing an angel right now. Like, I wonder how strong he is at this point. Use living flame. Move! Oh my god, Faith is about to ruin it. It's not her fault, but... Gwen Post, Mr. Giles sent me. Oh my god. What for? To help you destroy the glove, is that... You know, I should have thought, like, oh, isn't it weird that she just showed up? Like, usually the council would reach out. The council told, reached out before and was like, Faith is going to be sticking around with you before until, like, another um, watcher can be sent for her. You would think, of course, they would reach out again and be like, this is the information of the new watcher that's headed your way. And we never got that. Like, this random woman just showed up and I was like, okay. <laughs> is she Lagos? Oh. <laughs> Cute Faith. As soon as she gets the, her hands on that glove, cue Faith. Oh! Okay. Also, guys, I'm starting to think that maybe a romance between Giles and Post might not happen. Oh my god, this looks so bad. I can't believe how much I'm gonna kill you. Oh I'm my god. That glove. You wanna bet? No, this is so annoying. The miscommunication is so annoying. You're confused, Twinkie. Let me clear you up. Vampire, slayer. Dead vampire. I cannot wait for the this episode to be over because I hope by the end of it everyone realizes that they should put more trust in Buffy and listen to Buffy more. Like I realize that she's not the end all be all of knowledge or anything, but everyone just has made so many assumptions about Buffy in this episode that has led to all of this miscommunication and it's frustrating. And I hope everything gets like, you know, loose ends are all tied by the end of this. No. She's blinded by love. Faith, no. Faith, we can figure this out. Shoot. It's kind of cool seeing them fight like this, though. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think they know. I don't know. They don't know. Shoot. No, no, no. You're not supposed to touch that. <gasps> She's just knocking out people left and right. Girl. You psycho. Ew. Oh, ow. A word of advice. You're an idiot. <laughs> She's kind of funny. Yes, Angel. You know what? I think it's going to be fine. I think we're going to get rid of Post by the end of the episode. And I think we're going to have everyone trusting Angel by the end because he is helping us out here. And they can see that now. Huh. Word of advice. You're an idiot. Ooh. Oh my god, so funny her arm is missing. Oh, there they, there they are. She does have arms. They were kind of missing the whole episode, but now legit it got cut off. That's kind of funny. As long as she and Angel don't get pelvic, we'll be okay, I guess. Yeah, is that going to happen every time now? Just seeing the two of you kissing after everything that happened, I lean toward the postal. Understandable. But I trust you. I don't, just for the record. <clears throat> well, you never did. Not a watcher. Yes, yeah, she was. She was, uh kicked out by the council a couple of years ago for oh. misuses of dark power. Well, you can't trust people. I should have learned that by now. Mm. It sucks. But you can trust me. Is that right? I know I kept secrets. I didn't have a choice. Is that it? Yeah, I guess. All right, well then, I'll see you. Yeah, it's gonna be more than just uh, you can trust me to get her to trust you, but... A buffy. Yes? Nothing. What? I don't know what she was just thinking about. Interesting way to end that one. Okay, so this one, this one had a big theme all about trust and respect, I feel. It's like a reminder of like, don't trust just anyone because of obviously the whole situation with Miss Post coming in and saying, oh yeah, I'm the new watcher. And then 
them just believing her and then getting into this mess because of that trust that they just initially decided to put in her. So it like gave this lesson of don't trust just anyone, but also it really harped in on please do trust each other. Like we know each other. We need to trust each other. We have no other choice. That's the only way that we're going to get through all this crazy stuff that's thrown our way. It was really nice to hear Xander say out loud clearly to Buffy that he trusts her. He gets heated about a lot of things and Angel's obviously a really big sore spot for him in some ways because of jealousy but in a lot of ways because of real things that happened um, in Angel's demon form. And so seeing him put like all of that aside at the end and just saying to Buffy, I do trust you, it was a big deal. It was really nice to see. I'm really hoping that in this next one, we out Xander and Willow as and their whole little cheating thing that they have going on because it's stressing me out. When it does all come out with them, I think Cordelia is going to leave Xander really angrily. She's going to be like completely thrown off by it and upset and I think she's going to leave him but I do think there's a chance they might get back together whereas with Oz I think he just I think he knows that he's a great guy and that he will deserve better and he's going to be sad about the choices that Willow has made and he's going to be really sad that she cheated on him he's going to know his worth and he's going to walk away and be upset that it has to end that way but I don't think he's going to get like angry or anything I think he's just going to be disappointed you know and that might be the end of Oz for the show with us because if he's not with Willow, he might just become like a here and there reoccurring student at the school, which would be really sad. So in some ways, ugh, I'm just sad. Like it's just going to, this is bringing about the end of Oz in my eyes and I'm not ready to let him go, but I also just don't want to see him strung along like this because I care about him. And Faith was opened up a little bit more. It was hard to see... The faith undertones of this past episode was kind of on the back burner, but I think it also was setting up a lot of her character for future episodes where we already know that she has really intense trust issues. She's very independent because she feels like she has to be to survive. Not even being able to trust your own watcher or who you think is supposed to be your watcher is really, that's like, it's just awful to see her hoodwinked like that because like she already has enough trust issues and now I... Just can't imagine how her next watcher, her next real watcher is going to be able to win her over after a situation like this because she absolutely loved her first watcher, saw her watcher die in front of her, is sent another one, almost loses her, but then realizes actually the watcher is evil. So like she's just, she's really getting messed up up here when it comes to what the demons of the world have put her through. It's created a lot of her own inner demons that are going to be even harder to deal with and I'm very interested in seeing how her relationship with her next watcher uh, forms after all this. And I think what stood out to me the most in this episode was the way that Giles talked to Buffy and like was really disappointed in her keeping the secret about Angel from him and saying that, you know, she just doesn't respect him. And I think that it's not, that might be a harsh way of putting it, but and, I'm, and I know that Buffy had her own reasons for keeping this to herself and she was scared and, you know, we have to have some empathy for her and what this whole experience has been like for her, but she needs to have empathy for others as well sometimes. You know, sometimes she gets sucked into her own emotions and her own problems and she spirals in and of herself. But like, that was such a good point that Giles made. Like, this man took away the lo a love of his life. This man tortured him on hour for hours on end for pleasure. Like it's it is crazy to just take this man back form this relationship all over again behind Giles's back after everything that Giles was put through so it, it, he brought up a valid point and of course he didn't know the full story of course you know the person that tortured him and that killed Jennifer was a soulless monster Angel has his soul back so he's just not the same guy but Buffy could have explained that or you know like it leaving it open for someone to find out is a dangerous game that she was playing and she just didn't I think have empathy for others or wasn't very considerate of how others might find the situation and yeah I definitely agree with Giles there but naturally I do give Buffy a lot of slack because I see firsthand a lot of the stuff that she's dealing with and it's hard that that was revelations uh next step is lover's walk lover's walk can we call it lover's walk away can this be can this be Willow and Xander being outed and we see Oz and Cordelia Cordelia walk away? I don't really want that, but I also at this point I feel like 
I need that. <laughs> 740 verbal? I'm, I'm pathetic. Is that bad? Illiterate. This is not good. What's not good? Well, I'm just worried it may hurt my standing as campus stud when people find out I'm dating a brain. I love that side of Cordelia, that she's really smart in that way. Adds a little bit of dimension to her character. 1430, Buffy, you kicked ass! Buffy, that's amazing. Whoa. Let me see that. Yeah, with scores like that, you can apply pretty much anywhere you want. <gasps> <laughs> what are we? <gasps> what kind of not the? <laughs> what? Sir, what are you doing falling out your car? Are you okay? <laughs> Please, what kind of moron would ever want to come back here? And then cutting to Spike. <laughs> And it's like the same, no, that's so funny because I remember so clearly like his first introduction to the show was him like rolling up in that car, getting out with like the one foot out, the slow move, the cigarette, I think. He was like very cool. And I was like, who is this man? And then now he's like back with the car, but he's like, he looks like he's a mess. I wonder why he's back. Is Drew with him? Oh God. No, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for him to be back. Oh, he's alone. Did he leave Drew? Maybe they're in a, maybe they're fighting. Why do you leave me? She broke up with him. We were happy. <laughs> no, I saw that. I saw the sadness. You're a little softy. Hey, those are from the pier. Yeah, uh, I just got them developed. Oh. Of me. What's this? It's a gift. Oh, God. No, what are they doing? Why are they doing this to me? Cordelia having Xander posted all over her locker. Oz being cute and giving Willow a gift. Like, just stab me. It's going to be this episode. It's all coming out, isn't it? This is just so thoughtful. Yeah, he is thoughtful. He's perfect, isn't he, Willow? I don't have anything to give you. You can tell him, you know, you're cheating on him. Surprise! Where is this retreat thingy? The Yukon? It's quite nearby, actually. It's, um... It's a clearing at the top of Breakers Woods. I don't want him to leave. She started with all this crazy talk about me going to college. Maybe you will, if you want. Else. Ignore your calling, but... Um, you can do both, just you like to now. To your future. And with faith here, it, it, it may be that you can move on. For a time, at least. Mm. Well... Please don't do anything rash. Anything rash, meaning... Oh, boy. Are you planning on seeing Angel? Yep. At school, I wish I wasn't so attracted to you. You're gonna stroke her hair at school. I wish we could make it all stop. Just stop. Carnegie Mellon has a wonderful design curriculum. Oh, and Brown University's history program is. You like history, right? Can we actually ask her what she would be interested in? It's time to think about your future, Buffy. About your whole life. I mean, honestly, is there anything keeping you here? Friends and family, and Angel. Cut to Angel. I really hope they dig deeper though into this theme of like this is a huge de Spike? Does Spike know? Do you know? Do you understand? Do Spike? Spike? Well, I cannot imagine what Spike is thinking about Angel right now because he left in like the middle of the chaos with it when everything went down. So does he think he wouldn't know that Spike's soul has or that Angel's soul has returned? He I don't even think he would know that Angel was banished at all there's a lot happening in this one no i want them to dig deeper into buffy thinking about her future because i think you know knowing that there's eight seasons and me assuming that buffy's gonna be alive for all of them i feel like she has the opportunity to go to college and think about what kind of career path she wants and and figuring out how to balance slaying with that career and i literally have no idea what she wants to do and nobody seems to be asking like can we, but she also seems to shy away from it because she clearly thinks that she doesn't want to give herself any false hope when it comes to being able to pursue any other career other than just slaying until death. You brainwashed her. I could just, you're going down. <laughs> the way he just stays down and wakes up there. Oh my God. <sighs> Ow. Boils. I want to give him boils all over his face and dripping pustules. Is that the worst really you can think of? Gusto. Want that old lover to come back to you? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh, no. No. Well, I mean, this is more of an anti-love spell. 
Uh, Spike, stop listening. Spike, I honestly, I don't want Spike and Drusilla together. They're kind of an iconic duo, I get it, but like, I always got the vibe that Spike was more into Drew than she was into him. Get the book. I just got a better idea. Hello. Hello, Spike needs you. <laughs> Oh God. So we have a spike problem, do we? There was an incident at a magic shop in broad daylight. The police had a hell of a time covering it up. It's so weird that mayor, the mayor just knows Spike by name. Like, what do you mean you know Spike? I know Spike, you don't even know him. <laughs> this year is too important to let a loose cannon rock the boat. Should I, Why? Mr. Trick, send a committee to deal with this? It's really freaky how much the mayor knows about everything. Like, he knows everything, and he's just been chilling this whole time. But what did he... Busy year. What's happening this year? She wants you to get out. Someplace a little less hot mouthy. Mm-hmm. She has a point. She does. As a friend, I... I would say get out. I think that you should leave. Yeah. It's not like there's any great thing keeping me here. You just got here. It's early. Yeah, well, my mom starts worrying a lot earlier these days. I mean, they're obviously building tension between them and she doesn't want to hear that he is okay with her leaving, but he could just follow her anywhere. Is that a spell book? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Chemistry book. Are you nuts? Or have you forgotten that I tend to have bad luck with these sorts of spells? I but remember. you said you wish that these feelings could just go away. Yeah, I wish for a lot of things. Clean this place up before they get here and start asking questions. Ah, why did that scare me? Why did that scare me so much? We're all gonna be very best friends. Spike, I am your best friend. Just like, okay, you don't need to do all that. You don't need to do all that. Just say you want a little bit of a, my spell and I'll give it to you. You lie to me. And I'll shove this through your face. You want that? No. Right through to your brain. No, please, no. She didn't even care enough to cut off my head or set me on fire. No, yeah, where's the romance? <laughs> Wasn't demon enough for the likes of her. I told her it didn't mean anything. I was thinking of her the whole time. She didn't care. I caught her on a park bench making out with the chaos demon. Have you ever seen a chaos demon? They're all slime and antlers. They're disgusting. Why is this so funny, hearing about demon relationship troubles? She said we could still be friends. <laughs> oh, no. Not that we oh, could I'm still so be friends. <laughs> Him crying on her shoulder. This is so weird. I, I don't know if this is gonna work right away well only one way to find out succeed, try again i'll kill him oh. and you try again i need a, a spell book this isn't it not at home it's cool i left it somewhere she's smart go get buffy where? Ugh. Mm -hmm. we were supposed to meet in here i don't know what could have happened i picked up some brochures from some nearby schools okay that's great. okay well, mom really not Hello. a good choice Oh. And I happened to walk by, and she's making out with the chaos demon. Not him dumping his problems on Joyce. Well, she sounds very unreasonable. She is. She's out of her mind. Like when Buffy's father and I... No, this is off. different. Our love was eternal. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everybody always sneaking up on each other in these episodes lately? Oh. Joyce, listen to me. You get out of this house. Or I will stake Spike is so funny. Uh, okay, I I'm confused again. <laughs> Willow! You took Willow. And when did you become all soul having again? I thought you outgrew that. Your friend's gonna work a little magic for me. <laughs> Joyce was just trying to have some hot cocoa with Spike. She's nearby. What? What? You can smell her? Is this some sort of residual werewolf thing? Definitely. This is very disturbing. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Agree. What's wrong? Not that I care. I, in my head, I think I'm sobering up. It's horrible. <laughs> Good. We still need him to find the others. Need him? He's probably just got him locked up in the factory. It's so cute to see them together again. I hope he sticks around. I hope it's not just one episode. A set of runic tablets. Spike can get the rat's eyes. I used to bring her rats. With the morning paper. Great, more moping. Mm. That's gonna get her back. Mm -hmm. She really is just kind of fickle. Shut up! <clears throat> He's speaking the truth, Spike. You gotta listen. I'm nothing without her. Yeah, that'll have to agree with. You're pathetic, you know that? 
Well, last time I looked in on you two, you were fighting to the death. Now you're back making googly eyes at each other like nothing happened. Makes me want to heave. Call them out. What you're talking about. You'll fight, and you'll shag, and you'll hate each other till it makes you quiver, but you'll never be friends. I may be love's bitch, but at least I'm man enough to admit it. Spike. No, I love Spike. He's so real for saying all that. Where are we? The factory. We're locked in the basement. That burnt out place in the middle of nowhere. So what are our options? I feel like we should just chill here. I just, I don't even want to look. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, Oz. I forgot that they were coming to find her. <gasps> Cordelia. Oh my god. Ow. Cordelia! Oh. Hey Spike, we got the stuff. Where are they? Is she good? Lenny, how have you been? <laughs> Better since you left. You should have stayed gone. Oh my god, what is this? Like three against ten? I love a little two for one. Whoa, how are there still so many? Oh, okay, we're running. But look at us working together. How cute. Come on, Angel. Yeah, chop chop. I heard you got soft like baby food. He's a softie. Well then, let's give baby a taste. Stop. When he's a softie and a baddie. Baby like a supper, baby like a supper. <laughs> Oh my god, you don't understand how much I've missed him. Baby have a nap? <laughs> Same. Now that was fun. <sighs> yeah, so fun that you want to stick around. I've been all wrong headed about this. Weeping, crawling, blaming everybody else. I want Drew back. I just got to be the man I was. The man she loved. Tie her up, torture her, till she likes me again. Love's a funny thing. <laughs> okay, Spike. I'm sad. I don't want him to leave. This is interesting. What is happening with Cordelia? Cordy. She's fine. Cordy. Is this her? All in order what the? This isn't. Uh, is this Cordelia? Is this real? Why are they doing this? Why are they messing with us? So Cordelia's gonna be okay. Oh my God, that was she so was mean. Terrible. I didn't. No, what I wanted. I wanted everything. And now you realize you want Oz, right? And be prepared for some groveling. Oh, I'm ready. I'm all over groveling. Good. Cordelia, are you okay? She, that was, she, I. Can I come in? Like, I thought she might die. Those are flowers. I'm sure she understands. Cordy, I want you to know that I. Xander? Yes? Does she not remember? Yeah. Stay away from me. Oh yeah, good. Yeah, agreed. So dumb. Like him and Willow, that's so dumb. Like I get, I don't get cheating, but like in shows, like if you're gonna make characters cheat like that, like at least make it for real and like so much passion that that they can't help it or frame it as they can't help it and they want to be together and they have to figure out how to leave their people. Like at least do that. But in this situation where they're like, huh. Ah, you know, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna make out sometimes, but you know, when people find out, we're gonna go back to our old people and and really grovel. Like I, uh, stum. Stay strong, Cordelia, and never go back to that man. Please, 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 please. No, Cordelia, crying. I'm not coming back. She's gonna leave for college. Wait for college, right? We're not friends. Oh, you're not coming back. I thought, okay, okay, okay. She's doing the whole breakup as friends with him. She's not coming back to this place to see him anymore. I thought she was like making the decision like, I'm gonna decide to pursue a career and get out of Sunnydale as soon as I can. That type of thing. But this, okay. I don't know how long this is gonna last. So I'm gonna go. I don't accept that. You have no choice. You have to. Tell me that you don't love me. <laughs> Hmm. Well, no, for real. I wonder how long this is gonna last because Angel's not just gonna be out of the show now. They brought him back, and that's there's no way this is how he's gonna end. 
yeah, please do feel bad, Willow. Feel really bad. <laughs> yeah. Reality check, everybody. And Cordelia, can you imagine finding out with your own eyes that your boyfriend's cheating on you and then almost dying like seconds later? Where's her family? Why are they not with her? Spike? <laughs> oh my god i just love spike i just love spike like he really came and he stirred the pot and he made everybody face each other without even meaning to like just because that's who he is like he's just so upfront and so real like he's right through everybody and doesn't isn't afraid to say what he thinks he made everybody face their selves and each other and all of the the cats out of the bag in every sense of the word right now and that's what i've been wanting i've just wanted everybody to get all their lay it all out and of course i needed spike to help me out with that it's why i love him he's a little misguided <laughs> a little by a little i mean a lot i really want him to like just give up on drew just give up on drew i feel like he's always there's something weird about there really is. I feel like he has a level of humanity that she doesn't. And I wonder why that is. Like, what if, what if he has a soul? I feel like that's why I'm confused. Like, mm, I don't know. Is it possible that he has a soul and he just is pretending that he doesn't? Because he's just, we've seen him in these emotional situations and even just his actions and the, his motives. It just feels like he has a soul. And... I wonder if he does and if he does, how that happens. And I want him to be out of Drew's clutches because I think she's the more dangerous one out of the two of them for sure. And I I just want to keep him safe. I want him to stay in Sunnydale. Honestly, I could see him and Buffy having an, a really long-term, slow-burn enemies to lovers arc depending on where Angel goes because it still is going to take a while for Buffy to get over Angel, especially with this little relapse incident. I wonder what's going to happen with Angel now. I don't know. Is he going to leave? Is he going to listen? And is that going to be the end of it? Did they bring him back to like, I still know that there's like a, the show Angel, like, is this setting up where the Angel TV show is going to pick off? And that's why this happened in season three with like Angel being back and the messiness with him and Buffy. I'm just wondering like what the purpose is and what it's driving toward right now. And yeah, Cordelia, please stay strong. Don't go back to him. Oz, you deserve better. Don't go back. Writers, please stop. <laughs> Writers of the show, please stop torturing me. Wow. And of course, Giles being gone. It made sense for Giles to be gone. He's too level-headed and responsible and he would have had the perfect advice, but we didn't need advice. We just needed chaos and spike in this episode. So getting rid of Giles for the episode made sense. And my favorite part of the episode was literally just spike having hot chocolate with, with uh, Joy and then Angel showing up and Spike throwing it back at him like gloating that he was allowed in the house but Angel wasn't I don't know it was like a one of those fun episodes but it also was like a perfect like so much happened and so much opened up to drive forward the next couple episodes so that was that I thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys next time <laughs>